Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Nine Miles review of the DB Power 120 lumens LED portable projector. So I reviewed a, another projector on this channel, another LED projector called the Cronova XPE 460. I reviewed that a few months ago. That also had uh, 1,200 lumens, and uh, that price right now is 92.68. This one is actually le less expensive at 79.99, and that's on Amazon Prime. It gets 4.5 out of 5 stars with 22 customer reviews. The other one that I reviewed got 4 out of 5 stars with 121 customer reviews. So I'm really excited to test this one out and see if it's on par or maybe even a little bit better with the other projector I reviewed. So once again, if you want to find this on Amazon, it's the DB Power LED Source Mini Projector. The company sent it over to me, so I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to give my honest opinion whether I like it or not, and let's see if it actually is a good projector. The other one was. Uh, this one should be. Uh, one thing I'm seeing, it has a hundred, uh, 1080, supporting 1080 uh, with HDMI, USB, VGA, AV for home cinema, cinema, TV, laptop, game, iPhone, Android, smartphone. So let's open it up, see what's inside. always exciting to unbox these things all right so pulling it out of the package it comes wrapped in foam all right it's like a foam cocoon actually opened it up backwards all right so here's a little foam case all right let's so you have a nice remote Very nice remote, actually. Usually they, they give you these mini remotes. This is a nice full-size remote. It's kind of the ones that used to get in the 2000s, early 2000s. And you have a cord. Plug in the wall, of course. A little adapter. You have a warranty card, and like I mentioned on previous videos, I always like to have companies that will back up their products with warranties. So it's a three-year warranty, so that's great. Three years is a long time for a warranty, so that's awesome. And you can email them. You'll get a reply within 12 working hours, so that's, that's almost no time. Okay, let's see what else we have, actually. Get us a free USB flash device. So that's cool, they give you a freebie. Portable home theater. Just kind of, so kind of some tips. Small instruction manual. And the user manual. Quite a large user manual. All right, so, and now the thing you wanted to see in this video. Here it is. The DB Power Projector. Let me just show you the back. VGA, AV, headphone, HDMI, USB, switch for the projector. That's where the power cord goes in. So let's just put the power cord in right now. All right, there we go. Got the on off button on top. The focus ring. You have a cover you can take off. That focuses the lens. And then you have the bottom here. It's model number RD810, power voltage 100, 240 volts. So let's plug this in, test it out, go through the menus, and also play some video just to test out, see how it looks, how bright is it. And the big question, does it come with batteries or not? No, it doesn't come with batteries. So whatever, that's not a big deal, but 
just to let you know. All right, so I have my Roku plugged in the HDMI on the DB Power projector right in the back here. Uh, Roku's are great. I definitely recommend getting one of those. I reviewed them in another video, and they are great products. So recommend a Roku. But let's try the DB Power projector here. So pushing the power button, it's plugged in. And not sure what's going. Oh yeah, flip the switch. There we go. We have a nice blue LED light. Can you see that in the video? Now I turn to red on top here. Taking off the lens cover. And let me press it again. There we go. So the blue light came on. And there we go. You hear the fan? All right, so I backed up the table the projector was on, and I have a nice clear screen now. So let's just scroll through the menus here. Just kind of show you what's... Uh... So you have picture mode, standard, color temperature, medium, aspect ratio, noise reduction. And let me just show you. Go down. So that's cool. Channel. Option. English, clock, auto sleep, sound mode, auto volume on. So I really like this menu, very clear. All right, so let's go to the source. So we want HDMI for the Roku. All right, so the HDMI wasn't connected properly. So I connected that uh, and now it's worked great. Uh, it immediately came on when I uh, selected the HDMI source on the DB Power menu. So uh, just right off the bat, this thing looks amazing. This is very, very clear. Uh, it's bright. It might even look clearer than the other projector that I was uh, reviewing. It looks really good. So let me just scroll through some of the, I'm in the new section of Roku. Uh, let's just say, Stormy day since it's the 4th of July, uh, or almost 4th of July. Tomorrow is actually 4th of July, so happy 4th. But it says stormy days ahead of July 4th holiday. So let me check that out. I'm going to click on that video, see how the video looks. But uh, the speaker definitely leaves you wanting more. It doesn't sound all that great. All right, so you're. Yeah, let's see here. You're back to this menu here. I wish the menu stayed on a little bit longer. You have to go really fast. Then you have the balance, so you can turn that up, or you can have auto volume. So when I turn the balance all the way up, turn the auto volume off, it didn't really do much, but I noticed uh, certain videos have higher volume. So you heard that other video, but let's I'll just click on this one. And I'll show you. It'll be louder volume. But Definitely you're going to have to hook these up to a speaker, external speaker, if you want some decent volume. Uh, it's just not cutting it. This wasn't made to... President Trump not seen, but heard today from... So that one might have been a little bit louder. Just depending on the video, it kind of turns up or down the volume. All right, of course I went to the YouTube app and I searched Nine Malls. So I'm on my channel on the Roku YouTube app. And let's just go to the Dump Cakes video. And I really like how quiet this thing is. It seems like it's a little bit quieter than the quieter than the other projector that I was using. Hey, what's going on, Daniel from Nine Balls? If you haven't already, so that's actually pretty loud. That's louder than the news um, video clips that I was watching. All right, so I'm just going to mute this right now. Oh, never mind. There we go. There's the mute button. I really like that mute button. So, um, have my video dump dinner on screen and move the projector a few more feet, uh, back a few more feet. And the picture resolution is really bright. It's really clear. I think if you had like a normal uh, projector screen, this would look even better because you kind of have this, the texturized, this is my wall, the texture. And, you know, it's not completely white, so having a white surface would re reflect even more light. So this thing looks really good. I'm impressed with the picture quality. 
and it's a, I think it's brighter than the other projector. I mean, they say they're both 120 or 1,200 lumens, but this is actually, I think, a little bit brighter. It seems like it anyway. Um, really impressed with this projector so far. Let me just go through some of the pamphlets here. Uh, warm up, warm tips before using the DB Power projector. Please note uh, that it only provides clear image in a dark room. Not recommended for PPT, Word, Excel, or business presentation. All right, so do I recommend the DB Power 1200 lumens LED portable projector? The answer is absolutely yes. I definitely recommend this projector, and I think I even recommend it over the Cronova. XPE 460, the one that I reviewed earlier, and you're saving money on this one at $79.99 as opposed to the other one that I reviewed, which was $92.68. I think this one's quieter. The speaker's probably not quite as good, but you're not going to use the speaker anyway. You're going to use headphones or connect it into a bigger speaker. Uh, but I think this projector is great. It has a clear picture. It's bright. It works perfectly for what you're going to use it for, which is probably watching videos from six, eight feet away, something like that. Uh, this thing is perfect for that, and I definitely recommend it. So thanks for watching my videos. If you like them, please subscribe. If you want to support my content, you, go to pay, you can go to patreon.com slash nine malls, or just go to patreon.com and search for the number nine, M-A-L-L-S. All right, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.